Now, today the question is, do I need a website to be successful? So my answer to that question is an absolute yes. Although some people say it's a no, um, you can get some level of success online uh, if you don't have a website or some form of a website. But in my opinion, I believe you absolutely need some form of a website or a presence online to be able to make some sales so or to be successful online. So if you don't know me, my name is Andy Atuga, coming to you live from andyatuga.com. I am the guy who spent nearly six years online without making a single penny. And after six years, I learned a lot of things. Um, that was from 2010 to 2016. And now I've recovered from all that lost time and I'm able to work from home full time supporting my family. So I just wanna share with you one of the reasons why three reasons why I believe you absolutely need some form of an online presence to be successful online. So stay tuned. So the first reason is this. If you have a website or some form of a presence online, you are seen as an expert. Now, the reason why I say that is this, would you rather do business with an accountant that has one tiny little portfolio and meets you up in a hotel lobby or in a restaurant and tells you I can handle your account for you and help you save more money? Or would you rather do business with an accountant that has some form of a present? Let's say we go to their home office or we go to their office on the high street or they have some form of a, a presence where we can actually go meet them and say to them, this is where we are and you can sit down and discuss private issue who would you see as the expert more of an expert right you'd rather see the accountant who has a physical space for trading or some place where they operate from and the reason is you want some level of confidence confidentiality and you also want some level of knowing that this guy knows what he's talking about right so these are some of the main reasons why this is the number one reason why I believe you need to have some form of a website or a presence online now, when it comes to presence online, some people choose to use various methods. Some people say, I don't need a website. I've got a LinkedIn web, a LinkedIn site. Do I, should I stick with my LinkedIn page? And the answer to my question is, for me, I still say have a space of your own. Because having been online for quite some time, there's one thing I can tell you. Social media platforms and all those kind of great places, they're good, but they always change. They change the algorithms, they change their rules and regulations, they change things. And every time when they do that, it does affect people that are operating on that platform. Of course, they don't mean to do it, but to be able to protect like the whole community, they need to put some structures in place. And the last thing you want is for your business to be controlled by another business. So you want to be able to go open and operate from that space. That is why I always recommend, even if you have a LinkedIn profile or you have a Facebook page profile, go and create some form of some presence on your, by yourself. And I'm gonna share with you two resources that I use and other people are using right now also to place themselves as the expert in the industry. Number two reason is that it builds trust. Now, if you, if you have, like what I said, when I gave the example of the accountant, you will trust the second guy a bit more. It's all about trust. People will buy from us because they know, like, and trust us. So if you have a space that belongs to you, I always know that I will get you on this space. So even if Facebook were not here today, or even if LinkedIn decided not to take my content again, I know where I can find this guy. I know if I go to this guy's name.com, he's going to be there, right? So it builds some level of trust unconsciously. People know that this is a space that belongs to this individual. So... I would like to operate with this person on this basis. So even if you have a LinkedIn space or you have uh, some form of a presence online on a social media platform or something like that, which is great, you can do business on there, compared to somebody that has both, you'd rather do deal with a person that has both. Number three reason is a biggie. Number three reason is that website, if you have some form of a presence or website online, it helps you sell. Now, we are online because we want to close more sales. If you're running your business online, that's the main goal. Let's close some sales, right? And if you're not closing some sales online, then you actually know that you need to change something. At least you have some presence online. And the reason why if you have some presence some, or maybe a website or some form of something similar to that, 
is because you can actually tell people where to go to go and purchase your services. If you are a consultant, you can say you can book an appointment with me on my website. If here is my product, here's the page where you can get my stuff. Go here and go buy my stuff. It's just simple, straightforward. I just send you to the link, you book the slot, we sit down, we talk, and that's it. It's as straightforward and simple as that. So if you have that, it helps you to make more sales. And these are the three main reasons why I believe you should have some form of a presence or some website online. Now, there are two tools I always recommend and you can do use these two tools in place of not having a really flashy website. And these are more effective, more effective to put together than other things. So the first one is a blog. And the reason why a blog is very effective is because a blog actually does a good job of placing you as the expert, right? So if you have a blog sitting online, and you're sharing your knowledge and your information, you're actually impacting lives. You're telling people, I know about this subject more than everybody else. And people go and look for the content, they find your content, and okay, this person knows exactly what they're talking about, provided you're telling the truth, right? And that is number one reason why I like blogs. Now, if I'm gonna set up a blog, would I use uh, myname.wordpress.com? Again, I wouldn't use that because it really doesn't build trust because it's not my space. I'm borrowing space of somebody. And if that shuts down, my whole business is shut down. My content is gone, right? So that's one reason why you want to do that and make sure that you've got a blog that belongs to you because that's where your content lives. Now, the number two tool I always like to use is a sales funnel. Sales funnels are brilliant. Whoever invented sales funnels, they are awesome. Now, if you don't know about sales funnel, they've been online for since the invention of online marketing. And the reason is why you probably don't know about it is that most of the gurus, they don't tell us that they were using sales funnels. They'd never said anything about sales funnels. You were in their funnel and they never mentioned it that you need to build a funnel or learn how to build a funnel. Today, the knowledge is out. A lot of people know about funnels, right? Uh, but the problem is still remains that a lot of people don't know exactly how to set it up. But combining a blog with a sales funnel means that you can actually be ahead of a lot of people. Now, what does a sales funnel do? A sales funnel helps you close sales while you're doing something else. It helps you present your product while you're somewhere else. Now, think about it this way. If you have to present your product and your service to every single person you talk to online, then you're really going to be working quite very hard. Very, very hard. But... If you have a sales funnel, the sales funnel can be doing the product presentation for you. It can take the orders for you. It can take the sales and get people to pay. It can go take them through the whole arsenal of goods and services. And at the end of the day, pays you the money. So if you have a sales system that works, it can funnel into the sales system and that's the way it works. So if you don't have a sales funnel, you might want to start thinking about having one of those things because they just work. So. Hope you find some use out of this information. If you don't have a website and you're thinking, ah, oh, where do I start? I would say start from having a blog and having a sales funnel. And some of the tools I use uh, for my blog is WordPress and for my sales funnels, I always use ClickFunnels because it just flat out works. And I've got a link below if you wanna go try WordPress out. You've got a free video to help you uh, learn how to build a WordPress website. And also, if you want to try ClickFunnels, I've got a link below to to give you 14 days free trial on ClickFunnels. And if you need help with your ClickFunnels at all, just reach out to me and I'll be able to point you in the right direction or show you exactly what I'm doing with my funnels to let them convert people into sales. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you, ciao.